There's mounting pressure this morning for Chicago Police Superintendent Eddie Johnson. He's already under investigation after being found slumped over the wheel of his car. CBS 2's V. Wynn explains why the police union issued a no confidence vote against him. The vote of no confidence took place after the superintendent says he has no plans to attend the president's speech at a police conference next week. But it was one week ago today in this Bridgeport neighborhood when someone called 911 on the superintendent. And now an internal investigation is underway into what happened. When asked for an update on the internal investigation, a Chicago police spokesperson told us the inspector general is conducting the investigation. We don't know where investigators are at in the case, if they interviewed witnesses or reviewed body cam footage of the incident. We know near 34th and Aberdeen, there are several homes with security cameras, but it's unclear if any captured the superintendent's black Chevy Tahoe in passing or the officer's response. The superintendent was found slumped over the wheel of his car at a stop sign last Thursday morning. He blamed it on a medication problem, but the next day we learned from the mayor, the superintendent had a couple of drinks. Can you tell us how much you had to drink the night you were slumped over the week? <laughs> Listen, um, as much as I would like to answer you all's questions, uh, there's a pending investigation, so to comment on anything would really be inappropriate. Mayor Lori Lightfoot made it very clear this week the superintendent is very much on the job. She even gave him credit yesterday in her budget address for lowering crime in the city. Reporting from Bridgeport, V1 CBS 2 News.